Hey guys, Derek here from Modern Castle. Today, we're gonna look at the best cordless stick vacuums for 2023 based on the 41 different cordless vacuums we've tested to date. Which vacuum is best for your home? Let's find out now. When it comes to choosing the vacuums we'd recommend, we look at a number of factors that impact usability and performance, including excellent debris removal in our cleaning test, features or accessories that improve usability, dustbin capacity, effective dustbin sealing, and runtime. To assess vacuums, we put them through a battery of objective and data-driven tests. If you'd like to see the details on exactly how we test, our data, and how each of the six vacuums compare to each other, jump to the comparison chapter time codes in the description now. This video is sponsored by NapLab. NapLab is our sister channel where we put mattresses to the test. We test mattresses through our battery of nine different tests to create the most objective, transparent, and helpful reviews possible. If you're in the market for a new mattress and need help, visit us over at naplab.com or on our channel on YouTube. With that brief intro out of the way, let's jump into our number one pick for 2023, the Dyson V15. After being released in 2022, the Dyson V15 is still the most powerful cordless vacuum on the market. It's capable of 230 air watts of suction power and showed its prowess by removing 99.4% of all debris. During our cleaning tests, the V15 only minorly struggled with sugar on high pile carpet, removing 96.0% of the debris. That score being its worst across three different floor types and four different debris types is incredibly impressive performance. In addition, the V15 handled both hair types with ease, avoiding most tangles and removing the pet fur from high pile carpet. The real success of the Dyson V15 is the included accessories and features that greatly improve usability. The high torque head has an adjustable gait for larger debris. The laser fluffy head is great for hard surfaces and has a laser to make seeing debris easier. And it has a particle sensor for automatic suction adjustment. Furthermore, it has a click-in battery with a 68-minute runtime and a point-and-shoot dustbin with a capacity of 0.76 liters. For those who like the maneuverability of a stick vacuum but want a longer runtime and dustbin capacity, the Dyson V11 Outsize has you covered. It comes with a massive 1.89 liter dustbin, a 1 hour and 17 minute runtime on a single battery, and 220 air watts of suction. Furthermore, the outsides had fantastic clean performance, removing 99% of all debris. In our initial cleaning test on high pop carpet, the V11 outside struggled to remove larger debris. However, that test was only run moving the vacuum forward and backward. We ran the test a second time, trying to be more cognizant of how we moved the vacuum, and it removed the remainder with ease. Long hair and pet hair performance was also excellent. It comes with an XL version of Dyson's high torque cleaning head, a mini brush roll, and your standard set of accessories. If you want something different, you could consider the Outsize or Outsize Plus, which have the same XL size, but different sets of accessories. It's hard to complain about any stick vacuum Dyson makes, and the same goes for the more lightweight Dyson V12 Detect Slim. It packs all the performance that V15 does, but in a more maneuverable package. It has less suction at 150 air watts, but still had excellent cleaning performance, removing 98.6% of all debris. On both carpets, the V12 struggled slightly with sugar, only removing 95% of it from the fibers. That said, 95% is still the vast majority of the debris. The included laser fluffy cleaning head and motor bar were more than capable of handling the job. In addition, it easily avoided tangles thanks to the thick brush roll and hair removal veins. The V12 was able to remove the vast majority of pet fur from carpet. It has a shorter runtime than most stick vacuums on this list, with 51 minutes and 22 seconds of life on eco mode. It also has a smaller dustbin of 0.38 liters, but it makes up for those shortcomings with a leaner, lighter weight design and fantastic usability. Dyson removed their normal trigger control, which you had to hold down, for a button which you can press once to turn on the vacuum. In addition to the cleaning heads mentioned above, it has a hair screw tool, click-in batteries, and automatic suction adjustment. The Samsung Bespoke Jet stands alone as the only vacuum with automatic maintenance features that we are recommending on this list. In the case of the Bespoke Jet, it comes in the form of a freestanding base that can charge the vacuum and automatically empty the vacuum's half a liter dustbin into the base's two liter dust bag. This greatly reduces maintenance and improves usability alongside the two click-in battery Samsung includes. 
A single battery has 56 minutes and 3 seconds of power on the lowest suction setting, giving the device nearly 112 minutes of battery life for cleaning. It comes with 210 air watts of suction power, which was able to remove 98.1% of total debris. It struggled with cereal on hardwood, only removing 85%, seemingly having trouble getting on top of the larger debris. On all other floor types, it had virtually no issues. 0.19 grams of hair remained tangled around the brush roll in our long hair test, and the majority of the pet hair was cleaned from the carpet. The real selling point of the Samsung Bespoke is the usability. In tandem with the clean station base, it comes with two click-in batteries, an adjustable wand, accessory cradle for on-the-go cleaning, and more. The clean station and vacuum aesthetic is truly next level. It's the type of form factor and styling that looks good enough to have on display in your home. Despite not being the newest model from Samsung, the Jet 90 is still a fantastic cordless stick. It may lack the auto-empty base station of the bespoke, but it keeps the amazing build quality and other usability features which improve clean performance. The Jet 90's 200 air watts of suction was able to remove 98.0% of all debris across all floor types. It struggled the most with sugar on low pop carpet, only removing 88.0%. While this is a common place for stick vacuums to struggle, it didn't hamper the performance enough that we would call it anything but excellent. The Jet 90 had the most hair tangles around the brush roll at 0.22 grams. That said, we use a lot of hair for our tests, and if properly managed, it shouldn't be an issue. In addition, pet hair management was fantastic. It has the shortest runtime of all the vacuums we've chosen for this list, with 43 minutes and 30 seconds on the lowest power mode, but an average dustbin capacity at 0.8 liters. Again, usability is where the Jet 90 shines. It comes with a freestanding charging base, soft brush roll for hard floors, adjustable cleaning neck, and more. While Shark has made other stick vacuums in the past, the Stratos Cordless is a significant improvement in many ways. It comes equipped with CleanSense IQ, which automatically adjusts suction power based on floor and debris types. The Stratos had solid performance in our cleaning test, removing 96.7% of all debris across all floor types. While it struggled with smaller debris types on carpets, we would still consider this performance good enough for most homes. In addition, it managed hair with ease, avoiding tangles, and completely cleaning the fur from the carpet. It has an extremely long runtime on Eco Mode at 78 minutes and 50 seconds, being the longest on any single battery of the vacuums on this list. It has a fairly average sized dustbin at 0.72 liters. The Stratos also has many features that enhance usability, namely an extension wand that can bend for ease of use, an odor neutralizer, and easy to use buttons and controls. Next up, we're gonna move on to our side-by-side -side performance comparisons. The most important factor when deciding which vacuums to make it on the list was cleaning performance. To test stick vacuum's ability to pick up debris, we test each vacuum against four debris types and three different floor types. We place half an ounce of each debris in separate lines on each floor type. We then run the vacuum on the highest suction power, running it over each debris. After doing a singular forward and backward pass over each debris, we measure the amount of remaining debris by weight as a comparison. On screen now is a table showing all of the data we've collected from these tests. Our cleaning tests show how the Dyson V15 narrowly won by 0.3% over the Dyson V11 outsize, which had 99.0% debris removal. Most importantly, all the vacuums listed have over 95% debris removal by weight. With any of these vacuums, you can rest assured that it will complete the job. To further test cleaning capabilities of stick vacuums, we test them against long hair, which can tangle in the brush roll. We lay 1.0 grams of long hair in the direct cleaning path of hardwood flooring. Next, we run the vacuum over the hair on maximum suction power. After, we check how much hair remains on the floor and if any of the hair is tangled in the brush roll. The table on screen shows our full set of long hair performance data. All of the vacuums we've recommended had very good performance or better. In all cases, the vacuums were able to completely remove the hair from the floor. However, only in one single case, the Shark Stratos Cordless, did it completely avoid hair tangles. The Dyson V15, V12, and outsides were not far behind, only having a small amount of hair tangle. The worst performance of this batch were the Samsung vacuums, with the Jet 90 having the worst overall. That said, even in the case of the Jet 90's 0.22 grams of tangled hair, these amounts are still manageable and easy to clean if checked regularly. For our pet hair tests, we test vacuums against the pet hair rubbed into high power carpet. 
we use 1.0 grams of pet hair nestled into the carpet fibers and run the vacuum over it with one forward and backward pass on maximum suction setting. On screen now is a table of the data we've collected from our pet hair tests. Across the board, pet hair performance was exceptional for these stick vacuums. In all cases, the vast majority of the pet hair was removed with only a few strands remaining. To measure wind speed, we use an anometer against the opening of the tube connected to the body of the vacuum. We run the vacuums on each mode and measure the amount of inward wind speed it's able to generate. The table on screen now shows our complete set of data for our wind speed tests. Our data shows how the Samsung Bespoke Jet had the highest wind speed at its maximum suction power with 21.5 miles per hour. However, most of the vacuums fell around 20 mile per hour area, except the Dyson V12. Its smaller size and less suction power are most likely the cause of a slower wind speed. Having a properly sealed vacuum ensures that dust and debris that is cleaned up stays in the vacuum. If it's not properly sealed, this could then be distributed around your home. To test this, we set up a fog machine with the output facing directly towards the vacuum's extension wand. Once the fog machine is ready to go, we turn the vacuum onto its highest suction power and release short streams of smoke into the vacuum. The table on screen shows all of our data for the smoke sealant test. To our surprise, not all vacuums we tested were completely sealed. The Dyson V15, V12, V11 outsize, and Shark Stratos were completely sealed. No issues there. However, the Samsung vacuums weren't, as well as one other, the LG Cord Zero. Initially, we had planned to include the LG Cord Zero all-in-one auto-empty on this list thanks to a solid cleaning performance and fantastic usability. However, after performing this test, we were surprised to find that it had significant sealing issues. The lack of sealant warrants concerns as most vacuum cleaners should be as tightly sealed as possible. While both the Samsung Bespoke and Jet 90 let out some smoke, it was enough that we would still consider them mostly sealed and it shouldn't be a major issue. Another key factor we consider is how long the battery lasts while cleaning with the vacuum. To test this, we fully charged the battery of the vacuum and ran it on each mode, measuring the amount of time it took before the battery ran out. The table on screen shows the runtime for one battery on each power mode. The winner for runtime on a single battery was the Shark Stratos. Coming in at 78 minutes and 50 seconds on a single battery while in eco mode means you have a lot of time to work with. Just behind it was the Dyson V11 outsize with 77 minutes and 52 seconds. In addition, the Dyson V11 outsize and Samsung Bespoke Jet both come with an extra battery, effectively doubling their runtime. For most of these vacuums, a separate battery can be purchased, but both of those models come with them in the initial purchase. In addition, both the Samsung Bespoke Jet and Shark Stratos had long runtimes while on their maximum mode, sometimes doubling other models. High performance vacuums are loud. To measure exactly how loud, we run the vacuum on each mode while cleaning, measuring the level of noise it creates with a sound meter. On screen now is a table showing all the sound levels of the vacuums on this list. Essentially, all the vacuums had noise levels in the same area on both of the lowest and highest suction powers. The Dyson V11 outsize were the loudest on the maximum power, while the Samsung Bespoke Jet was the softest. That said, most of these vacuums fall within 5 to 6 decibels of each other in each mode. Here's what each vacuum sounds like. All vacuums come with various accessories that help improve cleaning. Most cordless vacuums come with a basic set including their standard cleaning head, a crevice tool, and a combination tool. However, some vacuums come with more unique accessories that help in specific cleaning situations. On screen is a table comparing all of the accessories included with each vacuum on this list. Keep in mind that some of these vacuums have multiple models and variants that come with different set of accessories than the ones we've listed here.
It's possible that a vacuum you like didn't make it in our recommendations. In some cases, we may not have tested it, where in others, a combination of our objective analysis and our subjective experience resulted in us not choosing that model. If you'd like to see our complete testing data and reviews for these cordless vacuums, please visit us over at moderncastle.com. There you can find our deep dive reviews, comparisons, best loves, and a whole lot more. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. For comments or questions, please drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying any of the vacuums we featured today, we've got links in the description. For more from Modern Castle, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit our moderncastle.com. As always, thank you so much for watching. If we can get big enough to be canceled, man, what a dream. We've done it. We, we arrived, <laughs> ever so briefly.